What's up, y'all? I got a family fee, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into the tea room. Regine Carter, new boo. Spotted touching another girl. I don't know. Let's get so it. many of you guys may know that Regine is dating again. And yes, she did confirm that. Now she was spotted out with the guy that she's allegedly dating. Now thing is, people weren't too happy with some of the things that they saw on this video that was posted by Regine's alleged boo friend. Now I will say I can't post the video on YouTube, but I will have it linked down in my Twitter. Twitter, but basically they were at the club throwing money and he was touching all over another girl right in front of Regine and the girl didn't have on any clothes. So you guys already know what type of club they were at. Regine was even throwing money back watching what he was doing. I was about to say T room. That sounds like the strip club to me. That's what you supposed to do at the strip club. <laughs> okay. So now the comments on Twitter were saying things like, y'all can't defend, she's for everybody. You right, she's standing right there and no man that respect his woman oh, would girl. be gripping and rubbing down a woman in her presence. He got his dogs in training. Sit, walk, shut up, watch this. Y'all can't be serious. Now another person stated, Regine Carter, you got these big backish in the feelings. See, they think they know you, but the strip club is not new to you. It's old to you, but new to them, big backish. I believe it. Child, y'all know the other nigga didn't want to go nowhere, ever. So she can finally have a little fun now. Regine might want to touch on the lay. So you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. I mean, I know a lot of women that do go out to these type of clubs with their men and they're okay with their men doing what Regine's male friend was doing because that's what you do at those type of clubs. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. But let's move on to this next topic with CJ So Cool. Now, recently he deleted the video that he made about his mom and his grandma. <sighs> now, people were wondering why that video was deleted and why CJ has been off of social media. And this was what he stated. I know everybody's like, what the heck? This Brian ain't even posting no video and he deleted his last video. Trust me, man. Whenever CJ so cool missing, it's always a reason, man. Either one of my ops tried to get to me, or I'm sick. But I don't ever like leaving my, my people without an explanation, so there you go. It's hard for me to talk right now, but it's supposed to be healing. Let me get this into my arm, and then hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better. So now let's move on to this next topic with Flo. CJ got to stop talking, stop talking crazy about his mama, boy. It's a bad look. And Karina. Now, you guys know they are expecting a baby right now, but it appears that Karina is living in Atlanta with her family and Flo is back in Houston. Well, the video that they posted a few weeks ago, people in the comment section noticed something about Karina. They stated they seem so awkward around each other, especially Karina. She just always looked so sad and down. Another person states, Poor Karina lost, shaking my head. One day she will open her eyes. Another person states, nothing about them give they are in love or in a happy relationship. When they're around each other, it just seems awkward and Flo talks to her like she's his homie. I don't think I ever seen him take her on a romantic date or do anything romantic for her now i told you guys it appeared that they were on bad terms but then Flo stated no they weren't then they dropped this video together but people can see the chemistry was off in this video and karina has been on twitter saying things like gotta let go of everything that's not for you before god can bless you uh -huh. then she also reposted a tweet that states I always get effed over like my love ain't genuine. Now Armand and Flo were out last night watching the fight and they were there with some friends and what sounded like some other young ladies. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment <laughs> section below. But from what I'm seeing, it doesn't seem like 
Flo and Karina may be together right now. Somebody screen record send it to me. Yo. <laughs> Yo, these niggas going to be young and they're going to go outside. Y'all better get used to it. Section below. I'm definitely not watching that. Next. All right. Previously, I reported that Regine and her new boo were spotted out at the club together. Now, I did state what type of club this was, and girls were actually dancing on Regine's boyfriend. Regine was there as well, and she was actually throwing money on the girls. Now, if you guys want to check out that video, I will link it at the top here. But now, apparently, Regine's new boo had some things to say to Armand. So now people are assuming that this photo he posted with the caption, make that your last tweet, and the song by future Draco playing in the background with the part on repeat stating, you ain't never ever getting your B back. So of course, people in his comment section started mentioning Armand. Someone states, Armand, you got one hour to respond. Someone states, he responded. He said, whenever he want her, he can get her back. And he said, bro, dress tacky, LOL. Another person states, he tried to come for Armand today, but Armand cleared him with the quickness. These people that are on here is definitely giving any ass shit to talk about. They're defending this BS is her fans. They know he's a clout chaser and opportunist. Now, so allegedly this tweet that Armand tweeted that stated, you a tacky dressing a N-word, you need some fashion lessons. Now again, this is a Rod Waves song, but Armand posted it on his Twitter. People are assuming that he is speaking on Regine's boyfriend, as well as the tweet that stated, whenever I want to, I can. So again, people are assuming. Yeah, we already watched this part, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's the, it sound the exact same. Let's go to the next topic. Ray and Kiana. Now they recently posted a video on YouTube where Nick did a prank on Kiana where she kissed Ray. Now people were kind of surprised that Kiana was actually getting offended that Ray and Nick kissed. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Damn, that was really, really close. I was actually getting offended that Ray and Neek kissed. Mm. I was actually getting offended that Ray and Neek kissed. Oh, that was on the lips. <laughs> because I'm trying to like, see, yeah, well that, if it wasn't right on the was lips, that was close getting enough. getting offended that Ray and Neek Hits. Mm, that was. <laughs> you just kissed her. You like my kid? I'm not understanding. Y'all are tripping. I'm not laughing. This is not a first. Why are you acting funny? I'm not acting funny. I just don't even know the same thing. I'm tripping. You don't got nothing to say. Why do you kiss her like that? Like that. We mean you always kiss her. We always kiss. Right? Do we always kiss in the mouth? I don't know. I'm gonna do what y'all start. Uh, what you mean y'all always kiss? We always there. kiss like that. I don't. I don't. Know. You don't. You don't what? Come here. What you you mean? Mean? That's not because different, Kiana. Yeah, basically like a nigga. But that's not home, girl. No. When we get drunk, Kiana, see, look, you I'll kiss the camera. Mwah. That's different. It's, it's even. We're even. No. That How? Was, was Nick just kissing everybody all willy nilly? Mm. Ah. <laughs> that's different. It's, it's even. We're even. No. That was. Kiss like you can't be that fucking mad. I want to kiss you. That's weird. Kiss like you can't be that mad. I, I just, I don't know. That's weird. How do you feel about that? That's weird. I'm talking with Dwayne. I, but we homegirls. No, that's not true. Homegirls is crazy. How's y'all? I feel like y'all. Wait, we were just kissing yesterday in the house. Doing what? But it's different. 
So you guys leave your people. I've definitely felt like they smashed before. I keep telling y'all that, but maybe they didn't. I don't know. <sighs> is on that down in the comment section below now we already stated that it appears that kiana and ray may had a recent fling by some of the things that they were saying in one of kiana's videos but again you guys leave your opinions on that and everything else in this video down in the comment section below oh no nah. how many minutes i bet we had 10 Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. I definitely feel like Ray definitely beat them cheeks. That's just, you know, what I feel. Why wouldn't she? Both of them together. All that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Mm. Other than that, I'm out of here. Hell yeah.